morning. Good morning, everybody. This is the day that the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it. God is good and he's worthy to be praised. Good morning. Yes. Amen. Um, this is um, this is a pretty good day. I had an amazing workout today and um, feel really, really good. I got in a little rush, so I didn't really get a chance to eat me breakfast. So because uh, I had to come in and um, eat with you guys, man, it's just amazing. So, hey, um, Abraham uh, heard this from Melchizedek that uh that he blesses with words you know and uh i tell you what i i send the blessing to you with words and i declare that you are blessed today in the name of jesus happy thursday everybody and uh yeah i um you know praying for my family and folks in new york city and everywhere man if you got a chance to look out the window in new york it looks it looks uh, weird, you know, like a, a movie or something. It uh, it's something else, and and uh, wow, I just uh, just a lot of stuff like that going on in the world. And I, I don't know if I've ever seen anything like this. I've seen smoke travel, but uh, woo, yeah, man, it's just good to be saved. That's all I got to say. It's good to be saved, whatever. Uh, whatever may happen, whatever is going on, you and I, we are good to go. We good to go. And that's a blessing of the Lord. So we send blessings to those of you. Let's see where you're coming from. Uh, 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 Conroy, Texas, uh, Albany, New York. We declare you are blessed in Augusta, in Oregon this morning. We say you're blessed in Jesus' name. And uh, we send blessings your way. Um, Plant City, Florida, Tallahassee, Florida. We send blessings your way. Blessings to World Changers Church, Tallahassee. Queens, New York. We send blessings to those of you in Las Vegas, Seattle, Washington, Pensacola, Florida. And uh, New York, New York. And Trenton. We say you are blessed in the name of Jesus. Dallas, Texas, Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, Charleston, South Carolina, South Africa, Los Angeles. We say you are blessed today. North Fork, Virginia, Alabama, in Maryland, we send blessings to you today. In Indianapolis, we send blessings to you today. Jackson, Mississippi, you are blessed today. Powder Springs, Georgia, blessed. Ontario, Canada, you are blessed today in Jesus' name. All is well, College Park is in the house. Got my College Park t-shirt on. College Park is in the house. You are blessed today in Noonan, Georgia, Knoxville, Tennessee. God is good. Amen. And uh, all, all is welcome. Amen. And we just thank God for those of you who are with us today. Uh, and we pray the blessings of God be on your life big time. Amen. That the, that the blessing of the power of God will be over you and uh, you will experience his favor today. And that, um, you know, no matter what approaches you today. And here's the thing, you know, I don't necessarily know what's going to approach you today, but amen. Whether it's good or whether it's bad, you still, you know, you still trust God. You still relying on on God. And, and, and that's what I'm saying, man, we're, we're trusting in the Lord. We're totally depending on God. And we trust that all is well in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All is well. Amen. Well, I, I want to spend some time making some confessions today. I, I think that these confessions will bless you. And then we're going to dig into, you know, answer the question, what opinion do you have of yourself? Because that's really important. What opinion do you have of yourself? And that's where Satan really wants to attack you is um, he wants to attack you where your your um, 
your self-esteem is concerned. Uh, your identity has always been a place where Satan wants to attack identity. He attacked Adam's identity. He even tried to attack uh, Jesus's identity. And he's after your identity. And so we need an answer to this question. What opinion do you have of yourself? And uh, yeah, somebody say that depends on the day. <laughs> Amen. Well, let's go ahead and make get Psalm 91 equipped. And we'll be doing this tomorrow live from Charlotte, North Carolina. Amen. Repeat after me. I will dwell in the shelter of the most high God. I will find rest in the shadow of the almighty. God is my refuge and my fortress. You are my God in whom I trust and with great confidence in whom I will rely. God will rescue me from every trap and protect me from every disease. I am covered and protected by his outstretched arms. God's faithful promises are my armor and my protection. I will not be afraid of the terrors of the night nor of the arrows that fly in the day. I will not dread any disease that stalks in the darkness, nor any disaster that strikes at midday. Because God is my refuge and the almighty God of my home, no evil can befall me and no plague can come near my dwelling. God has ordered his angels to guard defend and protect me in my house. God's armies of heaven will keep me from falling. I will walk unharmed and kick anything that is evil from my path. Because of God's love for me, I will call upon him. He will set me above all my troubles. He will deliver me from all my fears and he will honor me with his presence and power. He will reward me with long life and he will show me his salvation. I set the course of my life today with my words. I declare today that I will not be defeated, discouraged, depressed, or disappointed today. I am the head, I have insight. I have wisdom, I have ideas, I have authority. I exercise my authority today with my words and I decree a thing and it is so. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. The same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives in me. As I speak words today, they come to pass. They go before me. They bring the things to pass that I desire. And they stop all attacks, assaults, oppression, and fear from coming to my life. God is on my side today, and therefore I cannot be defeated. His favor surrounds me today as a shield. I expect favor today from heaven and from the earth. Jesus had favor with God and man. And as he is, so am I on this earth. Therefore, I have favor today with God and man. I expect and receive favor in my home, favor in my job, favor on my business, favor in my ministry, favor with my finances, favor in every deal I am involved in. I have the wisdom of God today. I will think the right thoughts, say the right words, and make the right decisions in every situation I face. My mouth speaks wisdom and my heart is filled with understanding. I ask for and receive an abundant supply of wisdom and understanding today from the almighty God, wisdom from above, wisdom that is pure, peaceable, gentle, unwavering, willing to yield without hypocrisy, 
wisdom and understanding are better than silver and gold and nothing I desire can compare with them. Therefore, I make it my ambition and desire to have understanding and wisdom. Therefore, I know I will have all of the other desires of my heart. My words go before me in securing my divine health and healing. I will not be sick today. I will not be stressed today. I will not be sad today. I will not be broke today. I will not be confused today. I have health today. I have joy today. I have all the money I need in the name of Jesus today. My steps are ordered by the Lord today. Ooh, don't you feel better? <laughs> Come on, say this. I have a covenant with God. And by the blood of Jesus, I release my divine protection and divine provision. My angels are carrying out the word of God on my behalf. I receive supernatural strength and encouragement from God and my angels. Angels carry out the word of God. And every word that I speak that lines up with the word of God is being carried out by angels even now as I speak. I expect to have divine appointments today to run into the right people and to be delivered from the wrong people. Any adversity, attack, accident, tragedies that were headed my way are, are diverted right now in Jesus' name. I speak to the raging waters in my life. Peace be still. I say to my emotions, peace be still. I say to my mind, peace be still. I say to my body, peace be still. I say to my home, Peace be still. I say to my family, peace be still. Now I speak to every mountain of fear, every mountain of discouragement, every mountain of stress, every mountain of depression, every mountain of lack and insufficiency. And I say, be removed and cast into the sea in Jesus' name. I expect the best day of my life, spiritually, emotionally, relationally, and financially. Today, in Jesus' name, all is well. And I am Psalms 91 equipped right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody said amen and amen. I mean, don't you feel better? I, I do. My God. I mean, imagine, think of this. You made these declarations, believe in what you say. Let the redeemed of the Lord, what? Say so. You have said it and it is so. And we have, uh, we set the thermostat for our life today. And so now by faith, I just walk in what I just declared. And I believe I receive the best day of my life in the name of Jesus. Somebody says, well, what about tomorrow? I believe I receive tomorrow, the best day of my life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All right, let, let's 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 uh, talk about something here. And uh, I believe it'll, it'll be a blessing to you. Um, let's see if we can figure this out together. Now, here's the statement I want to start with today. The opinion we have of ourselves will affect all of our relationships. The opinions, the opinions that we have of ourselves will affect all of our relationships. It'll, it will affect your relationship with people and it will affect your relationship with God. The opinion that you have of yourself. 
Okay, now that that that's that's big deal right there. That's big deal right now. And that's why I asked the question so you can start thinking, what is the opinion that you have of yourself? Because if you have a bad opinion about you, it's going to affect your relationship with God. And if you have a bad opinion about you, it's going to affect your relationship with other people. Hear this now. So we we base our value on our performance. Letting our weaknesses, letting our flaws and letting our failures negatively affect our opinion of ourselves. Now, let me let me say that again now. We base our value, how we value ourselves, is based on our performance. That's we that's how most people do it. They value themselves based on their performance. And then what happens is when you value yourself based on your performance, you, you you're letting your weaknesses, you you let your flaws, you let your failures, they now begin to negatively affect the opinion that you have of you you're allowing your weaknesses to affect the opinion you have of you you're allowing your flaws to affect the opinion you have of you and you're even allowing your failures to affect the opinion that you have of yourself and i'm like dude you can't do that you can't do that see people are extremely performance oriented and because of that you're allowing your performance in a lot of areas of your life to affect how you think of yourself see the reason why we do that and and this is this is the truth you you think about this now um uh, we think god will love us and bless us a lot more the better we perform. That's where it is. We think if we perform better, then God's going to bless us better. Oh, if we perform better, then, you know, uh, then God's going to love us more. Because people are extremely performance oriented. And we've all been there. It, it's, it's, it's. It's depressing when you find yourself living in your past performances and then you think, well, if I don't, if, if my performance is not good, if my performance is not good, then God's not going to be good to me because you think that he blesses you more and loves you more based on your performance. Now, listen to this. Our worth is not in what we do, but it's in what God has made us through what he has done. I'm not, I need to say that two more times. My value and my worth is not in what I do, but in what God has made of me through what he has done. What he has done has made me. My identity is based on what he has done. Who I am is based on what he has done, not in what I have done. Let me get my Bible. I, if you if you have your Bible, look look at this. Look at um, uh, let's look at First uh, Corinthians chapter one and verse thirty. This is this is this is something I think will help you. First Corinthians chapter one and and verse thirty. He says, "But of him are you in Christ Jesus." who of God is made unto us wisdom and he's been made unto us righteousness and he's been made unto us sanctification and he has been made unto us redemption. I love the Amplified. He says, but it is from him that you have your life in Christ Jesus, whom God made our wisdom from God revealed to us a knowledge of the divine plan of salvation previously hidden, manifesting itself as our righteousness, thus making us upright and putting us in right standing with God and our consecration, making us pure and holy and our redemption, providing our ransom for eternal penalty. It seems to me 
that it's it's what God has made me through what he has done. And I think we've got to begin to recognize, look at what God has done. He has made me the righteousness of God. He has redeemed me. And so I, I now see myself based on how God has made me. Glory to God. We just need to accept it. That's the real deal. We just need to accept it. We just need to quit playing around with this. And we need to just say, you know what? I have the wisdom of God. I, 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 I am the righteousness of God. I'm the righteousness of God because he made me that way. I have been redeemed, praise God. I am holy right now today. Praise God, I'm sanctified right now today. He has determined um, our identity. And I am what he's made me. I am not my performance. I am what he's made me, praise God. And the day you accept your identity is the day you will change your behavior. Glory to God. I am not my behavior. I am righteousness of God. Even when times you don't look righteous, I am still righteous. Even when sometimes you don't behave righteous, I'm still righteous. See, if you hold on to your identity, your your behavior will start lining up with who you say you are and who you believe you are and who you've received you are based on what Jesus has done. Is this making sense? So the devil, he's got a plan. And the devil's plan is to deceive us into continuing to base our worth on our performance. His plan is to get us to continue to base our value on our performance and on our behavior and then keep us focused on our faults and keep us focused on our shortcomings. Dude, I just explained to you the war. I just explained to you the battle. Glory be to God. Let me say that again. The devil's plan is to deceive us. And what he wants to do he wants us to continue to base our value and our worth on our behavior and on our performance. Somebody says, oh, I behave badly. And the devil says, yeah, that makes you a bad man. And I'm telling you, even when your behavior was off, you got to go back to what God has made you. I'm still the righteousness of God. Glory be to God. I'm still the righteousness of God. Amen. I didn't repent of that. I know I shouldn't have behaved like that and thank God for his blood, but I'm not going to allow the devil to get me to, uh, you know, base my worth and my value on my performance and on my behavior. And then, then keep me focused on my faults and keep me focused on my shortcomings. Now, I just, I just explained to you the war. This is his attempt every single day. How, how much time I can get you to stay focused on your shortcoming from yesterday? How much time can I get you to focus on your faults from last week? Dude, you got to have a short memory. You got to let that stuff go. And the focus has got to be on who I am in Christ who I've been made in Christ Jesus. Boy, I feel like I'm about to shout. Who I've been made in Christ Jesus, that's my focus. Amen. And so you, you think about that now, especially when you done missed the mark, did something dumb that you wasn't supposed to do. Now that's when the battle starts right there. You say, you know what? Yeah, it, I, yeah, I did it, but I'm still the righteousness of God. And every time that, that thought comes up to try to get you to focus on you know, your faults and your shortcomings, you just remind yourself, I've been made righteous. I've been redeemed. And you focus on that. Satan's trying to steal your focus. He's trying to get you to focus on the stuff that uh, will determine your worth and value. And you can't let that happen, guys. All right. So the more able I am 
to accept and like myself in spite of my weaknesses and in spite of my flaws, the more able I am to accept and like others in spite of their weaknesses and in spite of their flaws. Oh, did you hear that? I, I tell you, when somebody doesn't like you in spite of your weakness, they, they're going through something. They're going through something. The more able I am to accept and like myself in spite of my weaknesses and my flaws. All right. So you got to accept yourself and like yourself in spite of your weaknesses and your flaws. And the more you're able to do that, the more you're able to accept and like yourself in spite, in spite, in spite of your weaknesses, in spite of your flaws, then the more able you will be to accept and like others in spite of their weaknesses and their flaws. Oh, somebody shout somebody. Because I'm telling you, church folks, we just got a problem accepting and liking people uh, if we know about their weaknesses and their flaws. We do. Say amen, somebody. We do. And that that goes back to, well, if I got problem accepting them because of their weaknesses and flaws, it's probably because I got a problem accepting myself because of my own weakness and flaws. Wow. Wow. That's the truth anyway, folks. That's the truth anyway. It's It's the old saying, I mean... If you treat somebody mean, it's only because you treat yourself that way. So hopefully by knowing this, it'll give you more empathy. Kind of get in somebody else's shoes and just say, listen, I know I know why you treat me like that, because you're treating yourself the same way. I have seen this movie and I know exactly how it ends. Yeah, man. So, yeah. That's what that's what God put on my heart to share with you today. I, I hope it helps somebody, man. This is, um, you know, last night I did my last uh, installment of the emotional maturity series. And I'm going to really work on that to put it all together so you can refer to it over and over and over again. But today it, it, this is just this is just another chapter in learning how to deal with those different attacks that that the devil brings our way and uh you're gonna be all right man you have a good day today you have a good day today because today your focus is going to be on the on your identity your new identity that you have in jesus christ and your new identity that you have because of jesus christ amen praise god man i think i'm gonna run around in a circle somewhere i'm just i'm just blessed i thank god for today, you will discover this new chapter in your life. And you know what that new chapter is? I like me. My opinion of me is good. It's not bad. I'm not a bad person because I did something bad. Amen. Because God's blood is still working today. And, and stop being nice, nasty. <laughs> Somebody said, what in the world is that? You know how some people can be nasty and try to be nice at the same time. Well, if I, if I, you know, we're praise of the Lord. If I've been divorced twice, I wouldn't even um, have any input. Praise God, bless his holy name. Nice, nasty. Stop, man. Stop. And um, let's just deal with the issue. I'm going to focus on who I am in Christ Jesus. I don't care what the devil says. I don't care what anybody else says. I don't care if somebody with the devil said. it. I've been born again. I've been made righteous. I've been delivered. I've been, I've been given the wisdom of God. He made me. So I'm not taking any advantage of, oh, I became this through my great discipline. No, dude, I'm, 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 I'm giving him all the glory that, um, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I just, I just thank God. I love myself and I forgive myself and I'm looking at what Jesus said. I forgot to share a scripture with y'all, another scripture. Um, I, I'll get it later on, but it, it just talks about, you know, respecting that identity. Did you know the first place Adam was tempted was the devil came to, towards his identity? If thou be the, the, the son of God, if he came to Jesus, if thou be the son of God, attacked his identity, attacked Adam. 
you know, if God said, just trying to attack your identity. You got to know who you are. You can't let the what ifs of the devil distract you from the identity that God made, Jesus made for us. And I promise you, folks, I have experienced this in my life. If you will focus on who you are in Christ Jesus and who you have been made. Yeah, it feels weird in your head because religion comes up. It feels weird when you do something crazy uh, or you're mean to somebody. It, it feels weird for you to say, I'm the righteousness of God. But do that because eventually you're going to believe that you are who he made you. And it's going to affect your behavior. And there's going to be a whole lot of stuff you ain't going to want to do no more. A whole lot of stuff that you're just not going to want to do anymore. And um, and so that's uh, another installment of our confessions. Woo! Love you guys so much, man. I um, I don't, I don't know. I take great joy in what's about to happen tomorrow. I'm on my way to Charlotte, and we're gonna we're gonna do this tomorrow at Charlotte, and um, we're gonna have our confession, Psalm 91, and we are gonna minister a word and it'll be a little longer I'll, I'll be preaching about an hour and i won't be limited by 30 minutes and so uh yeah man um join us charlotte uh, i can't promise you a seat uh, i just you know that's what happens when you do it for free it's like first come first serve and and i just believe that you'll be there and, and we'll have a great time and then tomorrow night uh it won't be on online but tomorrow night in charlotte those of you who are in Charlotte, I'll be there tomorrow at seven as well. That's the final um, city for our tour for this year. And I got to say thank you guys so much. It from Los Angeles to Charlotte, it has been amazing, amazing. So you just got to let me know if we want to do it again and, um, you know, show up in the city or wherever you're going. We, we'll, we'll, we'll pray about it, see what God wants to do. And then Grace Life uh, 2023. Yeah, it's it's right around the corner. I know it seems like it's like a month away, but it's going to get here real quick. July 13th through the 15th Grace Life Conference. We call it the homecoming. There's a little uh, QR code on the screen. If you want to hit that, if you hadn't registered, go ahead and register. Uh, we've added Inky Johnson and he's going to be ministering to all of our men. We're going to have a special uh, men's session and it's going to be amazing. And uh, yeah, uh, we got some pre-service things that are going to be taking place. Drum line in the parking lot as you come in. It's going to be wild, man. It's going to be something else. Opening ceremony on Thursday night. Uh, some surprises on Friday. It's going to be amazing. You do not want to miss it. Go ahead and register right now and make your plans to join us. I think if you go online, uh, the website, you'll find information concerning discounts at hotels if they have any more room left uh airlines all that kind of stuff uh so yeah it's gonna be awesome hey i love you guys it's gonna be a great day i don't care what the devil says i don't care what he says it's gonna be a great day you're gonna have a great day and i pray that you will encounter something supernatural today whether it's a uh, any you know meet somebody supernaturally or some deal in your business comes through supernaturally or something that uh will just you know bless you so much today that it will happen and just don't forget to give god the glory give him the glory amen i love y'all so much pray for me today it's gonna be a great day and uh, we'll see you tomorrow from charlotte north carolina god bless y'all